Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Detroitals Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be reviewing the American Tier 7 Premium Medium Tank, the T-42, a vehicle that you can earn for absolutely free on the Expo event going on currently. Now, the Expo event itself is absolutely fantastic. It's basically a mini Blitz Fair that is now going on halfway through the year. This event gives you the opportunity to get an Expo container for free by playing upwards of 200 and 50 wins, which is a lot, but winning 250 battles to get one of these premium tanks is absolutely insane. I've already gotten a decent chunk of these vehicles in here just by using my free XP and selling my T22 medium for gold to open up gold boxes and free XP crates, as you can see. And I'm still going to open up more free XP crates as the event is still going on and I'm earning more free XP throughout the week. So if you can get your hands on the free expo container, I would highly suggest to do so because that is definitely a better reward than the T42. If you've gotten the expo container and then you still have enough time to grind the T42 after, that is what I would suggest to do. If you can't get enough points to get the Expo container unlocked by the end of the event, then use the enough points to get the T42. This tank should only be a last resort option, either after you've gotten the Expo container or if you don't have enough points for it. Because this is a decent tank, but it's definitely not even close to being as good as any of the vehicles available in that Expo container. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's actually review this tank, talk about its strengths, its weaknesses, and what it's got going for it. First of all, we have the gun, and it's actually a really solid gun. 2,100 DPM, 0.308 dispersion, and 3.1 seconds of aiming time are all fairly decent. It's got 170 standard pen, but oh, look at that, 270 on the premium. That is absolutely fantastic. If we take a look at the damage per shot, it's also pretty decent at 225 on the standard, 190 on the premium, and 270 on the high explosive. The vehicle features a solid amount of gun depression at 10 degrees, and it also features decent mobility at a top speed of 48 and a reverse at 20 with a very solid power to weight of 22. The best way to describe this vehicle is a Patton down at tier 7. It doesn't have any turret armor, it doesn't have any hull armor, it's not going to be the easiest to high explosive pen, but it still doesn't have any armor. And mobility wise, it's just like the M48 Patton where it reaches its top speed fairly fast, but apart from that, it's not much faster because it doesn't go faster than 48. So, it's not really that amazing on any aspects when it comes to armor, mobility, but the gun does have decent damage per minute and very solid penetration. So overall, it's just a decent tank. I can't really say there's anything outstanding about it, but to be fair, it is a free vehicle that you can grind pretty easily, so I wouldn't expect it to be anything fantastic. At least it's not like the Sphere that we had, what, two years ago? The Sphere is literally just a reskinned Leo, which is kind of lame. So at least they put a brand new tank in the game for this event. And again, it's free. Anybody can get it. And if you want credits, it's a decent chunk to get. So uh, let's see what it can do. You'll see here, this is the okay power to weight on the vehicle going upwards of 40-ish kilometers per hour. I just find it weird because I think of this vehicle more like a T-49 that's stock and it's just so slow compared to a T-49. We've got the uh, Panther off to the side. Well, it's not really a Panther. It's the Magnate, but you know what I mean. Let's reload. We got the Nazorn in the back. Oh, that thing's got a way faster reload than I thought it was going to have. All right. Well, we got one pendant to the Nazorn. It actually looks like the majority of the enemy team is not going towards this side of the map. So let's use that mobility the vehicle has and make our way over here. We got the IS in the back who we're going to aim in a shell on. And there you go. Not a bad penetration. Let's put on our adrenaline. Maybe we can get another pen into the IS and bonk. There you go. Two easy pens right into his vehicle. You can see the DPM on the tank is not too bad at all. 5.4 second reload with adrenaline. Let's see. Let's make our way over here and see if we can very quickly cut across from where that IS is. Hello, magnates. Bonk. There you go. One very easy pen into his tank. And with that 10 degrees of gun depression, we should very easily be able to slap one more in. There you go. Oh, well, we got hit by the 40 TP sitting at the back of the map. All right. Well, we're not doing too bad right now. We got the 40 TP over here, who I don't know if we're going to have the gun depression for. No, unfortunately, it looks like we don't. But because he missed me, we are going to be able to aim it on the Nazorn and miss him. And not only that, but get rolled for freaking 250. Like, what? All right. Well, this isn't going amazing to uh, start off with. But there you go. We were able to get a very nice 299 roll into the Nazorn with that shot. You'll notice that this vehicle does not feature, like, any armor. It's got basically no armor, which is uh, kind of poor. Like, even... Even that 40 TP is basically out trading us. So on terms of this vehicle, as I said, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of just a light tank reskinned with a medium gun. 
which is not bad to be fair. I just wish it was a bit more mobile. I'm hoping that our T-3485 finishes off that IS as I'm going to make my way over here and get some shots into the 40 TP. Let's put on my adrenaline. Doesn't look like we're able to HE pen the guy anywhere, but that's fine. We'll get another nice standard shell in. With that, we've over... Over 2,200 damage at this point. It's not too bad. Let's aim it on the KV-2. One, a very easy penetration. And now we're going to go for the T-23-E3. Give him a love tap. A nice kill rate there. And just like that, this was a pretty solid game. I don't know what our Tiger's aiming at, but he almost allowed me to get that kill. Not a bad game at all. As you can see, the vehicle is... It's fine. It's got enough hit points to deal with its opponents. The gun has enough alpha to out-trade a lot of tier 7s. But you can imagine how fighting tier 8s, the armor on this vehicle is going to be diddly squat. It already is diddly squat. So up against tier 8s, you can imagine how it's even worse. But we did earn a decent chunk of credits at 94,000. And we were able to get some tickets for the expo event, which I'm going to continue grinding. So first game, as you can see... It's really not that special of a tank. To be honest, the T-20 is essentially what this tank is, which is a tech tree medium. So, yeah, as I said, there's there's really not much uh, special about it. This is definitely not a tank I will be driving a lot on my free-to-play. I think it looks cool, and it looks really nice with this camo. But again, it's just... It's just nothing special. So, here we are in our second game. We got a stock magnate on our team. We're up against a Leo, a T23E3, and an EZ8. I'm hoping that my VK30 helps me. It looks like the Basolto is coming out over here as well. So, we do have some support, but I guess we'll find out. Speed, 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 speed. I'm not seeing anybody here. Well, we got the Leo, which is going to slap me for probably 270. Oh, 290. Oh, that really hurts. All right. Well, let's get a nice pen into the Leo really quick. Um, I don't really appear to have much help from my team. Hopefully, uh, we can get another nice shot into the Leo. Oh, we actually got a bounce. Look at that. Looks like the uh, armor was troll enough to give us one lucky bounce. It would be great if my team could finish off this Leo, but unfortunately, my VK. Oh, and he rolls me for 320. Come on. What the heck, Wargaming? 270 Alpha. Oh my god, I'm being rolled! Uh, anger. Alright, well, I'm just a little salty. Our VK30 literally didn't shoot the 10 health guy. Shot the uh, T23E3 instead, but oh well. Let's see if we can get a pen into this player. There you go. One nice shot right into the roof, and just like that, we're not doing all too bad. Let's reload again, and a bonk. There you go. Another nice 190 roll. And uh, not too bad. We've dealt 1,500 damage in the beginning of this game. But you can also see, again, how absolutely useless the armor is on this vehicle. I mean, I don't know why Wargaming just didn't make this a light tank. I guess they figured they already have the M41D, and the M41 Bulldog exists, and, I don't know, the T-71 exists, but... Uh, I don't know, man. I just feel like this would have been so much better as a light tank. And again, I'm not necessarily complaining because it is a free tank. It's just, I don't know, it's a, it's a little mediocre. What what else? Let's see. We got the uh, Jagdpanzer IV off to the side. We've got one pen into his tank, two pens into his tank. Let's back. What the heck was that? You know what the crazy part is? I can't even poke him because that thing's got so much DPM it'll actually out-reload me. So I'm actually going to ignore that player and start shooting the KV-3 over here. At least we've got decent DPM to rip into this guy. We've already managed to penetrate two shells. The IS was able to finish off the KV-3. And there you go. Not a bad game. But you can definitely see it's, it's really just a light tank, but worse. That's the problem with this vehicle. So, as I said, it's not a bad tank. And if you want to grind for it, then I wouldn't say not to, but I also wouldn't really suggest to go for this vehicle, as I said, especially when the Expo containers exist. This is not a tank I'll be driving all too much on my free-to-play. I've got the Kunza Panzer, which is just a faster, better version of this vehicle, to be completely honest, and, uh, and that's really the best way to describe it. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you guys think about this tank in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.